Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am just going to be making some journal tippins, pockets and envelopes just to keep in my stash so that I can grab them for when I want to use them for my moleskin journal that you see there. And I'm going to be using a lot of magazine pieces, as you could see just before. I had the new Frankie magazine, the Project Calm, and the new Daphne's Diary. So I've just set everything up out here on my dining table. So I do apologize for the lighting because it is raining all day today and it's, it's not very good lighting. But I have windows all around me, so I was hoping that it would... Uh, look a little bit better for you guys today but it's a bit shadowy so as you can see I've pulled a bunch of stuff out I had some washi tape and ribbons and things like that just to sort of try and limit myself a little bit but I'm just pulling out some pieces of paper that I've um, I've already pulled out from some magazines and that's got a lovely quote on it that piece actually um, but I wanted to use these beautiful trees here so I was just cutting up those pieces and measuring them to make sure they would fit inside my journal there. Um, I'm not sure at this stage what I was going to make them into so that one there to me looked like a pocket and then the other one there looked a little bit longer so I decided to work with that one and make it sort of a, a fold out tip in. So I'm just trimming it down now just so that it fits nicely into my journal and I'm just checking what it's going to look like there. And here I actually decided to trim off um, that little girl on the bike because I wanted to use her a little bit later on and possibly also this quote, although it doesn't make it in right now, but it's a lovely magazine piece. Uh, to keep for later on and here I'm just looking at what I wanted to work with first which is this longer piece and because I decided I wanted it to be sort of a fold out piece uh, sort of a tip in I grabbed my scoreboard and just uh, scored it there so that it can fold quite nicely and I can begin working on it and here I've got some scrapbooking papers these scrapbooking papers I got from Spotlight um, they were really really cheap I think they were about 10 or 20 cents each I can't quite remember um, I got them on sort of a special or clearance and they were all um, uh, Maggie Holmes I think or crepe paper or, or something like that but just oh sorry American crafts <laughs> really beautiful patterns um, but the only thing with these papers is now I have noticed is that they don't carry the same weight as sort of a um, paper that you get in a paper pad they're a lot thinner but that's okay it's still um, they're still great to work with so I grabbed that one with the kites because I wanted it to go on the back of my piece and here I've got a lovely pink checkered piece which I believe came from the Frankie magazine that was just kind of a border piece around an article I think so they're always great to grab to sort of um, add on to things like this here so I've got that piece and I'm just going to add it to this left hand side there with some glue notice that um, looking back on this video how long it actually took me fiddling about with bits and pieces to do this first piece and how much quicker I was uh, doing the remaining remaining sort of pieces there um, I do find that that is the case you sort of work up to a rhythm and um, you know you just you don't uh, think about things as much and you're enjoying uh, putting things together and it all works out in the end so at the beginning here unfortunately I am a little bit finicky I am uh, fiddling about with bits and pieces and trying things out but I think that's okay you know it's all part of the process so I get there eventually in the end and, and work into a nice rhythm
I'm just playing about with bits and pieces here. I've got that lovely kite paper in the background there, but I was thinking it was a little bit too um, thick, so I trimmed down another sort of thinner piece to place beside the pink checkered uh, piece that I have there. And yeah, then I'm just going to play around a little bit with that lovely illustration. Those little illustrations there came from the Project Calm magazine. There was an artist in the magazine that um, was a mixed media artist and she had a lot of her work in there. So I really loved the images and I thought they'd be great to play around with and make things out of to pop in my journal. So, so yeah, I'm just playing about here you guys and I've got my sewing machine to the side there. And I'll do a bit of sewing here and there, so luckily you guys won't have to hear the, the awful uh, noise of the sewing machine. But I hope you guys have all been doing really, really well. And yeah, what have I been up to lately? I'm trying to think. Uh, on the weekend, actually, I spent most of my last weekend uh, shopping for things for my lounge room. We went up to Ikea and we bought a lot of things for our lounge room. Um, we got a new TV cabinet and a coffee table, rug and a dining table so it was really nice to sort of go and pick up those things because since we had moved into our house we'd gotten rid of a lot of our old furniture. Um, our old dining table that we had was too big, it was completely falling apart so, so that went out so it was nice to go up and um, sort of look for things that fit into the current house that we're now living in. So yeah, that meant that pretty much all of Saturday and Sunday was spent building furniture and yeah, to say I, I'm not very good at uh, putting together furniture. My husband, he went out to pick up a few other things and he left me at home to do a little bit of building so I, <laughs> I tried to put together the TV cabinet and got stuck so had to wait for him to come back and sort of help me out a bit with that and then on the Sunday you know I picked the drill back up and I started putting together the dining room chairs and I put the chair legs on one way was facing the right way and the other way was facing vertical <laughs> so yeah I kind of came to the conclusion that I'm just I'm no good at putting things together and you know I should probably put the drill down and, and leave it to my husband but you know I was just trying to help so I, I popped it down for a little bit and then I decided to try again I fixed up the legs and yeah then I actually went on to build the rest of the the dining dining room uh, chairs so I guess I didn't do too badly in the end I've just got a uh, maybe read the instructions a little bit clearer and yeah sometimes those instructions aren't very clear so you know maybe it's not all my fault but uh, once I got into the the rhythm of it and I, I put one together I I was right to do the rest so that was pretty much my weekend and yeah what else has been happening I'm trying to think you guys so today's Friday and yeah like I said it's it's really rainy outside, it's a beautiful cosy day, it's been quite cold the past few days actually so you know I had the heater going and some music going and it was it was really lovely to just sit down and, and uh, do some paper crafting because I had some other plans initially, I, I had some housework I had to get done and I've got some things that I want to cook and bake and, and put away um, just for sort of lunches and things like that but you know, sometimes it's nice to just sit down and, and say, oh, I'll do that another day and, and do something you really enjoy doing. So that's what I did today instead. And yeah, thought I would turn it into a video for you guys. So I hope you're enjoying watching it. Um, it is a long one, unfortunately. It's it's nearly 40 minutes long. Uh, so I hope you guys uh, stick stick through it if not you can always come back or you know hope I'm keeping you company while you're also doing some paper crafting I would absolutely love to know what you guys are also making at the moment um, so I've just been working a lot in my moleskin journal and that's pretty much about it you guys I did try to make some paper out of leaves and yeah I think I did post on Instagram that it didn't work out unfortunately so I had some plants in my front garden that I was going to try and um, make some paper out of 
So I went ahead with the process and I started filming for you guys and yeah overnight something happened to the leaves and they just the whole pot that I had them in was completely black you guys it just looked I don't know what was wrong but it, it definitely wasn't the same as what had happened with my yucca paper so yeah unfortunately that didn't work out so I don't know when I'm going to get around to filming another video um, making paper from leaves I'd have to try and find some more yucca plant leaves so I could try that one again so so yeah unfortunately that didn't work out but yeah plenty of other things to occupy myself at the moment back of this tip in I wanted to put some project life cards just for some added journaling space so I was just going to pop that small one at the top there and I was thinking about putting one at the bottom as well um, and then I sort of thought about it and thought oh, maybe it would make a good little pocket to pop another like a little tag or something in the back there so um, I just measured the back there and, and uh, put a little notch in the middle and then I just sort of glue all around the other edges to make it into a little pocket so I thought probably a little bit later on I could make a little tag or something to go and go on that there but I didn't do that in this video but off camera I think I put a little bit of extra washi tape for decoration as well on the back there <music> front needed something a little bit more so I had a few little pieces had some lace and some twine and some ribbon and things like that so I thought that maybe it would it would make a nice little um, decorative piece there at the top so I grabbed a bit of green ribbon um, I was going to put it at the top there but then I thought it would make more sense to put it at the side as sort of a kind of a little tab that you could use to open uh, the tip in tipping up so I've got the little green ribbon there I was going to use green and pink sort of combined but didn't like the way it looked and it's kind of fiddly trying to I mean I could always glue them down but I always tend to try and hold and staple um, and then it gets a bit fiddly so I just I just used the green one there and stapled that um, I think that one worked out okay and I had to refill my stapler a little bit later on so that is my little tip in piece done I'm just showing you what it's going to look like in my journal there you can glue the piece on the top of the page there or you could sort of have it going over to the next page so here I'm moving on to my next piece and I've got this lovely piece of scrapbooking paper here and I'm going to use it as a pocket and I got I had chosen a few other pieces to use here so it's a little bit of a quicker process uh, for you guys to watch um, once again there was this image from that mixed media artist in the project calm magazine and she had this lovely lady looking out the window of this sort of house and it's so quirky I just love the images like that and I've always had quite an interest in, in this kind of thing and I bought a lot of college papers many years ago um, to sort of do this kind of stuff myself as well so I must get back into that because it's it's really interesting I find it really fascinating to uh, to um, work around with different shapes and, and make your own little houses and have this kind of stuff so yeah I've I've grabbed her there and I've got that checkered piece as well there I think that's a different color though that's a more of an orangey tone and just fiddling around a little bit with uh, bits and pieces and you know this is also a really good way to use um, any offcuts that you might have 
um, laying about in your sort of scrap bins and things like that you can always just grab them out and play around with them and and layer them up and stitch them and it's just so much fun that you know the possibilities are endless to just play around with bits and pieces like this and create layers and it quite often it adds a lot of um, dimension to your piece without adding the bulk as well so it's always great to, to ha keep hold on to sort of little snippets like that but you know unfortunately I've got far too many snippets that <laughs> I'm probably going to have to go through my bin and uh, get rid of quite a lot of them now so and here you can see I've pulled that lovely lady on the bicycle out and I just adored her so I popped her on this piece here and I've even got the little scrap from the bottom of the house there that I've trimmed off and I decided to put that down just to sort of balance out the colors um, a little bit more so I put that strip down there and then I think I take it to my sewing machine and I do quite a lot of stitching on this piece I stitch all around the house around the girl on the bike and and things like that and then that's pretty much it for this piece it, it'll be all done so it's a great little pocket when it comes time to to use it so I'll just sort of glue um, around the edges there and use that there as a pocket although you know you could have obviously made the the flaps and things like that to um, make it into a proper pocket but I just sort of leave them like this and, and glue down the edges and it's fine to to tuck bits and pieces of ephemera into your journal so so yeah here you can see me taking it to the sewing machine I'm just gonna go a little bit crazy and and stitch everywhere on this piece got some envelopes that came with the Frankie magazine and as you can see I've already made one up and I'm just going ahead and cutting out uh, the second one there I think that they had another two or so envelopes in there just different colors but these ones here appealed to me the most with the pink and the yellow uh, pastel sort of tones and yeah initially I was actually going to just leave them plain and just keep them for when I wanted to add an envelope into my journal um, but after I had sealed them up I decided I wanted to add some decoration um, in hindsight obviously I would have uh, left them open and decorated on the front so that I could have done some sewing on them just before they got sealed up but uh, that's not what I had planned so yeah here you can see me just sealing them up and then afterwards um, I'm going to grab some Project Life cards and start playing about with uh, decoration on the front but you know there's always ways around these things if you want to do sewing and um, you might have uh, 
made your piece up already you can just always grab some decoration and sew on that and then just glue that straight down onto the piece that you wanted to have that sort of sewn look on so here you can see me grabbing the project life cards initially I was just going to just have these project life cards because on their own they're quite they're quite pretty you know you could probably just pop that in a couple of strips of washi tape or some staples or something like that and they're quite nice on their own but um, after some fiddling about I decided to add some more magazine images so yeah you'll just see me playing about a little bit more here um, to decorate the front of these envelopes. So here after a bit of fiddling about with the project life cards I grabbed the magazine image that I thought I would use and once again it's this lovely uh, mixed media piece from this artist out of the magazine and it's so lovely because it's got sort of uh, Dorothy at the top there which I hadn't realised until uh, Alita commented on my Instagram post and she said uh, that that was Dorothy and she loved it so I was like oh yeah the red shoes the red ruby slippers there so I, had, I hadn't even uh, realized that that was representing Dorothy so um, she's gonna go on the project life card there I think yeah I I don't know that I used it on that yellow card um, I think I used it on the green one so I'm just uh, fiddling about back and forth here on um, which one looks nicer so there you go it's gone on to the the green project life card there and I just grab my little snippets of uh, patterned paper out of the magazines and I start layering up a few pieces there and uh, then I take it over to my sewing machine and I do some sewing on it before I glue it down onto the envelope <music>
I've got the second envelope, the lovely pink one there, and I'm just going to decorate that one up as well with the Project Life card. Um, I did play around with some bits and pieces to uh, try and make the video a little bit shorter for you guys. Um, so it should be a pretty quick one to decorate up, but if you guys are still here with me, thank you so much for sticking around for this long and watching my video. I know it's uh, not everyone's got this kind of time in their day to sort of sit around and watch a YouTube video so thank you so much if you've uh, stuck around to watch it I really really appreciate it I was well aware of how long I was taking um, during this process so I was trying to trying to hurry up a little bit for you guys although and you know when I was sitting down there I probably could have sat for another one to two hours just making things you know I was really enjoying myself but um, I'll go back to it. My stuff is still sitting out there on the table at the moment, so um, after this video is done, I can definitely go back and, and keep on creating. So um, this little piece here, very, very simple. Just a couple of strips of different pattern paper and a lovely um, cut-out flower that I'd cut out a few days ago, actually. Uh, I think that I'd cut it out because I was going to put it on the front of my journal in the last video. Uh, but it didn't make it so here it is being used up um, on this envelope so you know it's it's a very simple decoration but I think it's really effective and I think it's nice with the sewing uh, just going on around around the flower there so so I'll just keep doing that and then that's basically my second envelope all done guys we are on to the last piece that I'm going to be making on camera for you so I've got this project life card here and I wanted to do another fold out piece but um, I had never done one that sort of flips down or folds down so I decided I would uh, try to make one of those and I've just grabbed uh, sort of a pattern piece of paper which came from the Frankie magazine it came with the sets that had the envelopes in it as well so I think it was sort of a letter writing set that you got uh, in the magazine so I'm just trimming it down to around about four by three although it's going to be a little bit longer because I wanted to uh, leave a bit of a room for the uh, fold over flat part so I'm just measuring it there and I'm just gonna make a little mark where I need to score so just grab my scoreboard out and um, score that piece so it can adhere down to the paper when I go to use it and I think that this is probably my favorite piece that I have made out of all of them it's very simply decorated once again um, but I just I love the little image that is on the front of it you'll see it in, in a minute um, here I'm just sort of trimming trimming up the project life card and I'll flip it over and decorate it now so just waiting for that little image to come I'm just measuring it once again I know it's it was a little bit long I think so here she is this beautiful little I think she's a deer or a fox I'm really not too sure but she's so gorgeous uh, she came from the Daphne's diary magazine and yeah a lovely artist there makes them I haven't read the article yet though but I couldn't resist cutting her out so <laughs> I've got her there and I'm just gonna grab a few strips of 
uh, pattern paper once again and it's going to be very simple I'll do a little bit of sewing not too much and I think I also staple a little ribbon tab as well so that is pretty much it for this piece nice and simple and a lovely little sort of flip down piece that you can add it makes your journals a bit more interactive uh, I think I'm missing that sort of element uh, from junk journals I, I kind of can't really find uh, what I like the most I kind of like somewhere in between I like my pages to be left uh, quite minimal but I also like interactive elements and that's why I think I sat down to to make these few pieces up here so that I can just grab them when I want to use them so I think I, I grabbed that washi tape again because I love that um, little polka dot that thin washi that's on the bottom there I got that in happy mail so I'm not too sure if I end up using the washi tape on this or not but um, it's quite recurring as you can see it's it's quite all over my pieces that I use there um, this little tiny strip here I grab and I pop down the middle and oh, what am I doing there I was, there. <laughs> I was just thinking I was going to cut off the ears and I didn't remember doing that but yeah obviously I was just trimming a little piece off so yeah this little piece here is going to go down and I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it and that'll be pretty much it you guys but I want to say a big thank you for watching this video and yeah I really hope you enjoyed it I hope that I perhaps kept you company while you were crafting and or maybe I've given you a little bit of inspiration uh, hopefully you can grab out some images and some magazines or some snippets and just start playing around but yeah I hope you're all keeping really really well I know uh, places are still in lockdown all around the world and here I know that Victoria's back into lockdown because they've had a lot of cases there and um, it's not not looking too good in our country right now with the cases on the rise unfortunately so with COVID so yeah just hoping for things to sort of settle down again um, but our borders are open at the moment to New South Wales and yeah I'm hoping that <laughs> none of the sort of COVID cases creep up through New South Wales and come up here to Queensland so hopefully everything will be contained and everybody stays well and um, yeah I hope you guys are all doing really well and hope you are being crafty and creative and yeah I hope you're most of you are probably in the northern hemisphere so I hope you're keeping nice and cool this summer but for you guys in the, the southern hemisphere I hope you're keeping nice and toasty warm although I know it's it's not too bad here where I am but you know some places especially down south gets quite chilly so I hope you guys are, are keeping nice and warm where you are so yeah anyway guys thank you so much once again for joining me and take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you in my next video bye guys